Hey guys, today I want to talk about what the costs are when a senior citizen gets sick. Anybody over 60 that gets sick, the costs start going up. And this is why the sweet spot budget comes in handy. The sweet spot budget, a lot of people say, well, Steve, I can live on a lot less than that. It's it, The sweet spot budget is meant for all times, both for when you get sick and also when you're well. Because when you're well, you can save some of that money and save it for when you get sick. There might be a time when you're constantly sick where you never get well. As we get older, as you guys know, sometimes you need to go into a nursing home. This way here, you can hire a nurse or whatever. If you're in the sweet spot budget, it leaves you options. At least you can have pay somebody to come by your house, even if you're on the $2,000 budget. You can pretty much survive over here fairly well and possibly have somebody come by and check on you every day, make sure you got some food, go out shopping for you or what have you. At least take care of you to a certain extent especially if you have some sort of insurance because that'll even cover your insurance to a certain extent. Now, that'd be minimal insurance. You could probably get better insurance if you wanted to. And you should, you should be aware of the different types of insurance that are out there. And you can contact Michael Onstad. It's O-N-S-T-A-D. He's on Messenger. And he can help you with that, okay? So if you're looking, if you're looking to get good insurance, call him for Pacific Cross. He can tell you all the plans that you can avail yourselves of, the Filipino plans and American plans. And there's some really good plans on there that will really cover the stuff that you need. But as you age, you're gonna need more money. And this is why I say, you really need the, the two to 3,000. And it's good to be on the upper end of that if you can. If you can be on the upper end of that, you're gonna be way better off. You're gonna be in a better position. Because I'm noticing now, now that I'm having issues, with my sciatica that I use more. I order out more. I use therapists. Um, I, I'm going to another therapist now tomorrow. I was supposed to, I went today, but um, the doctor's not there. So that's part of the problem. So the issue, issue is you have to stay on top of these things and they get costly. I also have to see a doctor tomorrow. And it, you know, it, it adds up. It's not costly for these doctors for outpatient. And I have inpatient insurance. So my inpatient insurance only, you know, that's that's all I have. I don't have the outpatient. So outpatient is, is so reasonable, it's not worth getting outpatient, but you can get something called MaxiCare. They have meta cards and all these different, different types of cards that they have out there that you can buy, and they'll cover you in certain places. And it's worth it to get those sometimes because of the fact that it covers your outpatient. They only, if you're over 60, I think most of them cost about $200 for the year, and they'll cover all kinds of tests and things like that. And they're an exceptional deal for people like my age, you know, because I can go in there, throw it on the card, they're gonna take it. I don't have to pay a nickel for that, you know, and, and I'm finding that I'm spending, I'm spending, guess what? About, probably about maybe a hundred, hundred or two hundred dollars a month now, um, going to the doctors and stuff like that for, and for therapists and everything. So it would cover the, 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 the doctors, but it wouldn't cover like uh, prescriptions and things like that. But I'm not, my doctors for the most part are not the ones that are eating up most of this. It's the therapy. So, and I, I don't think they would, they would cover the therapy, but it's good that you can still go see your doctor or get tests or what have you and feel comfortable knowing that, you know, it's, it's covered. Because you are gonna spend $200 a month. You're just gonna spend the, that $200 a month. You're easily gonna, you're gonna go through that when you're sick, you know, if not more. And like I said, your costs go up because you wanna get out of the house, you're depressed, you wanna go out to eat, you wanna go out with friends, uh, you wanna get yourself better as quick as you can in the morning. And sometimes you need the therapist in the morning, you need to exercise or whatever, have somebody come over and help you with the exercises, because that's the hard part. And if you don't have that help, it can be rough. So, you know, make yourself aware that, that when you do get sick, those costs are gonna go up. You may need to go get an MRI, or you might need to go get some, some um, x-rays or what have you. That, that's stuff that you have to be aware of, you know? Those costs are gonna eat up your budget so much, it's incredible. Because, like for me, like I said, I have wanted to get out. I wanted to get out of my bed, you know, because I have to get out and walk. If I don't get out and walk, the sciatic is gonna get worse. And the same thing with other sicknesses. If you get up and you get out and walk, it helps you, it helps freshen up your body, get your, your blood flowing, and you start feeling better when you're out there in the morning. I mean, look at me, it's six something in the morning, and I'm out here walking. And that's unusual for me to get up this early. But um, I went to the doctors, the doctor wasn't there, so 
you know, here I am, I'm out walking, which is kind of a good thing, you know, because at least I'm out getting some exercise, stretching my legs, stretching my back muscles, and, and getting out here. And for the past few days, getting up in the morning has been such a struggle. Uh, I'm lucky now that the medicine's kicking in. Again, I had to take some this morning, uh, but also the therapy from, from my therapist, Susan. Susan's been helping me tremendously over here with, with exercises. She came over and helped me yesterday, um, and I was thankful for that. So I wanna give a big shout out to Susan because she's been, I've been really grateful to have her and she's a great massage therapist too. And so I get the massage and I get the exercises and she helps me stretching my legs and stretching my back and trying to get me healed. And I, I've been so down on this now for the past more than two weeks, actually it's been more than two weeks I think, that I'm even contemplating getting an operation. And before I do that, I wanna try some other physical therapy with the TENS unit, uh, laser therapy. Um, there's also some other things, um, ultrasound, things like that, things to get my muscle relaxed. And once I get that muscle relaxed, then it usually goes back to normal. I hope and pray that it goes back, back to normal. You know, it's, I, I, I hope that I get, I get healed from this. You know, it's just, it's been so rough. But for you guys out there, thinking about coming over here, living on these small budgets. Don't, don't. If there's one warning I can give you guys, don't come over here and live on smaller budgets because you have a sickness or a stroke or a heart attack or something. God forbid, man, because you're gonna be suffering, you know, and you're gonna, you're gonna need help. You're gonna need therapy. You're gonna, especially if you have a stroke and, and, and you're gonna need a therapist to come over to your house, possibly even every day and possibly even a CNA to come over to your house. Granted, they're cheap over here, but if you're on a low ball budget, are you gonna be able to afford for a, a therapist to come over your house and check on you and help you? Probably not, you know, and you're gonna need that therapy bad so you can get up on your feet again, especially if you, if you, you know, if you're struggling, half your body's not functioning properly because of a stroke, or you're not functioning properly because of a heart attack, or or because you're getting, um, you've, been, you've been bedridden for a while and you have to, try to get past that because once you're bedridden, your muscles all kind of just die on you. They just don't work well when you get back up. I mean, even now with me, if I'm in bed for three or four days and I get up, it, it's a struggle. You know, I notice uh, like, like my muscles just go into atrophy or whatever you call it. And I notice I suffer, they, like, they just don't work as well as they usually do. So I gotta get out and exercise, get those mu muscles moving and get that blood flowing, you know? But it's the biggest issue over here is the money. That money issue, man, if you're not in that two to 3,000 range, you're gonna be in bad shape. You know, $2,000, most of the guys here that are single, um, they don't really struggle that much. They don't struggle too bad. And if they had to, they could still afford, if they were living at home or whatever, they could still afford to have somebody come over and check on them or a therapist or whatever. And the good thing about living in a, um, a community is that the expats will help you. If you need to get food or something, they'll run down and help you get food or whatever. And you know, you just give them the money or whatever, and they'll, they'll get it for you. In most cases, I mean, I'm lucky because of the help that I have around me. I haven't had to use them too much, but I, I have had help from the guys and it's great having people just offer you their help because it makes you feel better. It makes you get better, I think when you have people that do care about you, especially over here, because over here, you really don't have your family. You have your family back home. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a struggle over here because it can get lonely, especially when you get sick. And those are things that you all need to think about when you come over here. The loneliness, the money, and, and with the sweet spot budget, when you're well, you should be banking some of that money for when you do get sick. Because when you do get sick, guys, that's when, that's when it gets rough. And you know, people think over here that, that you live on those low ball budgets, you'll be fine and all this, and you can, you can, you, you're gonna be living in your house, man. And it, it's, not, it's not fun. It kind of sucks actually, living in, just living in your house. Because what, can, what are you doing? You're not exercising. I mean, you can still get out and do walks and stuff like that, and those are free. But I mean, you really need to, you know, try to get into a gym. And I've been struggling with that myself, trying to get into the gym because when you're, when you're having problems with your 
sciatic nerve or you're busy like I am, it's it's rough to get into the gym. It's really it's really tough to get get into the gym and get out there and get some exercise, you know, and, and do some weightlifting or or work on the treadmill or whatever. And when I go to the gym, I'm a treadmill person. I jump on the treadmill and I'm on there for an hour and a half or whatever. I I, I try to do morning. And I try to do my 10,000 steps. You know, and that's that's key. Keep yourself healthy here. You know, and 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 try to get that insurance, a de good, decent insurance when you're over here. That's also key. You know, call Michael Onstad, O-N-S-T-A-D. Check in with him, see if he can help you. Michael's a good guy. He helps all the all the expats over here. He's a member of our expat community. He's been on Geo's page. He's been on other people's pages too, I believe too. And um, not, not pages, vlogs rather. And um, maybe someday we can have him on here and we can show him on here and have him talking on here a little bit more but you can also see him on geo's page geo did a thing on him on there um you know he's great that's all i can say michael is phenomenal with the expats if you need insurance he's the man to go to and you can get really really good insurance but remember once you hit those 70s man the costs go up precipitously and that's why you need to save with that 2,000 to 3,000 sweet spot budget, it's not just for spending. I tell people you need to save some of that. Put it in your budget that you're gonna make a special account for that so that you can save that money. Anyway, guys, God bless, take care. I hope you enjoyed today's show.